Welcome to Journalism 492, photojournalism for work and for play. I can't tell you how excited I am about doing this experimental class this summer. We have seven weeks to, for all of us to become better photographers. I'm going to join you in the class and do all the exercises myself. Then we can compare notes at the end and see how much we learn. The goal is to help everybody become a better photographer. Um, this is for the student who wants to become the National Geographic photographer or who wants to go out and do it for a local newspaper. Or it could also be for somebody who wants to freelance some images. There are opportunities nowadays online through places like iStock Photo that if you're good enough, you can start selling your own images directly. Or maybe you're going to work for a nonprofit organization that has a specific point of view, maybe the Sierra Club or some other local organization, and you're going to find out that being able to do images as part of your work Maybe your job was you were hired as a writer, but being able to add images to the other work that you do is going to make you that much more valuable to the organization you go to work for. Or it could be that you're just one of those passionate people who really loves photography and at a certain point you don't care whether you get paid for it or not. You're going to be the one who's chronicling all the family weddings and all the baptisms and all the other events that take place in the family. You'll be the person with the camera at Christmas. And this will help you not not just shoot snapshots, but really start to shoot professional level photographs. And that's a whole different challenge. Uh, we're going to have a variety of different kinds of exercises. Uh, each week you're going to be asked to do something on the work side, at the professional level, and then also at the play side to play around with things. We're going to learn a lot about Adobe Lightroom 4.0, the wonderful new version of Adobe software that helps you organize and control and archive your images and also gives you an opportunity opportunity to crop them and otherwise manipulate them. Along the way we're going to learn about things like where can you shoot, who can you shoot, what are the laws, where are the ethical concerns about people you should or should not photograph, and how much manipulation is enhancing a photo and how much is distorting the image itself. One of the challenges of the class is I'm going to ask you to identify a photographer that you identify with, somebody that maybe is a kind of photographer that you admire. I'm a personal fan of the photographer Zoraya. Zoraya Miller has visited MSU on two occasions and spoken in my classes. I think he's a fantastic photographer. I'll introduce you to his work. Uh, if I were going to start over in my career, I might want to be Zoraya. But I'm going to ask you to find a photographer that matters to you and somebody that you might emulate and then do a report on that person. <clears throat> It's going to be an interesting class. We're going to experiment along the way. I want you to post your photos on Pinterest. That's part of the experiment. If it doesn't work out very well, we'll find another venue. We can always go back to Flickr. But it's going to be fun this summer, but you're going to have to hit the ground running. I don't care whether you've got a cell phone or an HDSLR. This is the kind of class where you take whatever gear you have and you're going to be challenged with some interesting and unique assignments and you're going to learn a lot in just seven weeks. Class begins May 14th, ends June 28th. All the information that you're going to need is under the Lessons tab on Angel for this class. Grab that syllabus. I know it's a hefty read. It's actually, instead of a textbook, you have a 16-page syllabus you're going to have to wade through. But the syllabus and the information under that Lessons tab are going to tell you everything you need to know about the class. And I really look forward to seeing the kinds of work you're going to produce this summer. I think this will be great. I'm eager to see your images. Thanks.